Yo, what's up guys? My name is Red and I'm coming at you with another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Zucker is now in the house, guys. He is part of the Dream Team. He is here on Red's Cove. And I saw the interior of his house and this was when he was in boxes. So I haven't gotten a chance to see how it looks now that, you know, he's unboxed and fully moved in. I've given him some breathing room. So let's go see if uh, he's home. Oh no. Ah, oh, you're enough for a snack. Oh, come on now, Zucker. Okay, well, we're gonna have to come back and uh, visit. All right, so I've uh, been hard at work with a uh, part of my island that I wanna show you guys. As you guys all know, before I had the viewing area coming all the way back here, but I haven't gotten rid of it because I felt like, I don't know, I, I, I kind of liked the flow, I kind of didn't. And another thing too was it was on the third level and I felt like it was too high up. So I made this own little area here because this walkway didn't lead to anywhere. So I, I widened it and uh, we have the, you know, the registration here. So once you come through and you've already paid for your ticket, you can scan it here, take a look at, you know, the large stark fragment, what, you know, just one of the pieces you may be uh, getting on your very own wish when you're wishing for stars. Here's an astronaut, pretty cool astronaut, right? So here it is. I made it further down and I know what you guys are gonna say. This thing is, uh, you know, the roof, it, it, it's in your way. Well, yes, yes and no, because the thing is, once you come back here, it goes away. And this is the new viewing point. This is the new meteor shower viewing area. I love the way this looks. So much better than the way it looked before. I like that you can see underneath the UFO. I mean, how awesome is that? I will have to show you guys how it looks at night because it looks even better, you know. When it's, uh, it's, it's in the evening, but I really like the way this looks in comparison to before because since we were elevated on the third level, everything was just not to eye level. I feel like this is laid out a lot better and then it just accentuates the whole area with the background. And I put some trees back there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're, you know, they're back there. They're back there. And uh, over here, I have a little uh, the lunar rover. Too bad you can't get it on top of it. It would look pretty cool. And I'm thinking of maybe getting rid of one of the trees or maybe putting the trees behind. I'm not sure, but I really like the way this area looks. And then this area over here, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with it because this is just a blink area. And then if you follow this path, it goes right on over to uh, my house. So still a lot that I gotta do around here. Terraforming wise, design wise, but like, you know, step by step, I'll be able to tackle every single part of my island and finally, you know, have it completed. But look at all these flowers, guys. What the heck? This is a lot. Like, what am I gonna do with all these? There's just way too many. I also got rid of all the trees that were over here. Cause I was like, you know what? It's too many trees, way too many trees. I don't need all these fruit trees. So got rid of them and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna relocate all these flowers. Oh, more flowers, so many flowers. I have to relocate all of these. Oh God, I wish you guys could see my face. Here's a piece of advice guys. I would lay out your entire island even if it's on a piece of paper or something. But there's also apps that you can use on websites. I'll uh, link them down below. But I would lay out your city or your town, your island, before you start to put down a bunch of bridges because then if you tear them apart just like I did, you're wasting an upwards, I've already wasted at least a million bells just tearing apart, you know, a bunch of bridges. Hey, Kix is here. What up? Ooh, these are cool slippers. Yeah, I'll take these. Well, it looks like I have to go back to my house, drop off some stuff, and then, uh, yeah. Wait, I haven't seen uh, Zucker. Where is he? Let me check the store. 
Let me check Nook's cranny. I knew you were here! Go home! I want to see the inside of your house! You buying stuff too? Uh, what's the latest? I don't know what... I don't know what to buy when there's so much stuff like this. Actually... Do they sell snacks? <laughs> oh god, I am so happy you're here, bud. Seriously. What? Bubble... Bubblegum KK is here to purchase. I don't think Tiff has this. I'm gonna buy this for... Oh, I'm just gonna send it to her. And then I'm gonna send this to her, but all I'm gonna do is just give her a smiley face. There you go. Now she has it. I, um, I recently got this mask that I'm wearing from, uh, Gulliver. And I feel like it fits my outfit. I mean, it goes with it. Look how perfect it looks. Hi there! Do you guys have any, uh, cool, cool clothing? I can buy that I haven't, I haven't bought yet. This looks like it would be a Notice Me Senpai. Oh, dude. We're actually gonna be recording a video. I should buy some of these. All right, I'm gonna buy that. Okay, I bought every single color just in case we need them in the future for a music video. I'm just saying, I'm we're not filming a music video, but maybe we are, maybe we're not. I don't know. Maybe this is just a heads up so you guys know what's to come. All right, so let's check to see how much space I have. Oh my God, I've Literally, 11 more items left that I could fill in my inventory spot. Basically, I have 1,600 items in my inventory. What the heck? I need to go through and just delete some stuff. Like, why do I have two of the, the pet beds? I don't need two of them. I'm going to have to go through and just do mass deletes. So, I used the other rocket for the backdrop, so I'm going to have to make another one. I wish you could customize some of these and you could change the color because it would be pretty cool to change, you know, the rocket color to red and maybe like the actual structure have it be uh, black and the bottom like a different color. I don't know. It would be cool. Maybe future updates. Nintendo, if you're listening, make some of these uh, items customizable. Before we go, I have five new songs to show you guys. So uh, let's take a look at these songs. Hold on. All right, we got some new songs. This one, Driving, is one of the new, uh, it's, well, it's a new song for me, but it's actually a secret song. Oh, yes. I've heard this before. I like it. Yeah. We all know KK Bosa. Nice. Really chill. Romantic. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that one. It's interesting. That's the word that comes to, to mind when I listen to this. Interesting. Hmm. So, I have 41 songs so far. Pretty much halfway to uh, collecting all the songs. I believe there's 90 songs in total. That's a lot of songs. Oh, Zucker's home! You could tell because there is uh, smoke coming out of this chimney. So let's take a look at how the interior looks of his house. Whoa! Zucker! Welcome to my place. I'm glad you showed up. I'm too full of snacks to go outside. <laughs> Take a look at this place. This is so cool. This is a great idea. I need to get a cutting board. I put that in one of my stalls uh, near uh, the Able Sisters area. Does this turn on? Oh, it does. I can't imagine cooking without my Kong candy stall. <laughs> I can think about making any kind of food with this. What? Thinking about it doesn't make me less hungry, though. <laughs> Zucker, I love your spot. It's so cool. I mean, do you have any uh, takoyakis in here? I'm getting pretty hungry, too. Oh, look. It looks like he's going to make me something. 
Oh, he's happy. Aww. Such a happy guy. So happy that I was able to convince myself to take him and bring him home with me. Because, like I said before, he wasn't on my list. And now he's here. And I am so happy. Whoa, look, he's blushing. Ha <laughs> ha. Aww. So, the last thing I want to do is I want to look for some, um, I want to look for some sharks. Because there is a shark I'm missing that you guys basically told me, Hey, you didn't get all the sharks. You forgot about the whale shark. And I have no idea why I forgot about the whale shark. So, I want to try and see if I could capture the whale shark. So, it might take me some time, but um, I'll be here. And once I catch it... I'll show you guys. All right, guys. So, did a lot of fishing. Uh, I could not, for the life of me, get the whale shark. But I was able to get, let me show you guys, three great white and two of the saw sharks. And a bunch of these guys. Ugh. And I had to sell some of the other other uh, fishes so I could make uh, space. But I, I just ran out of bait. And I'm tired. I mean, the good news is now I have three gray whites. So I can make the model. Uh, need one more of the saw shark. And then I'll be able to make that model too. So I don't think I want to make a model of this guy. The sucker fish. He is the he is the bane of my existence. He is what you are, sea bass. I don't like you. I don't like you guys. So earlier, Zucker was like, oh, I would love some fish. Zucker, I would like to give you something. I wonder if he, what kind of fish do we think he would like? Let's give him a Zucker fish. It's kind of like a, yeah, let's, let's see. Here you go, buddy. Dude, did you catch this yourself? Sucker fish is so yum 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 yum. Oh man, this fish looks real tasty. You should show it to Blathers and ask if, if it's safe for me to eat. <laughs> you want to eat it? I thought you want to keep it as a pet. What if I give you another one? Oh, he kept it. Whoa, what? Oh, he's going to eat it. Well, look at him. Oh, my God. Thanks, Red. Man, it looks delicious. But I'm probably not supposed to eat it. Probably. Whoa. <laughs> hey, Zucker, you're the best. Seriously. And the last thing I wanted to do before uh, signing off on this episode, I want to show you guys how it looks at night. Make sure you register for your ticket. Okay. Hello, Mr. Astronaut. Good to see you. It's good to see you, buddy. Ooh. Yeah. This looks awesome. I haven't seen it at night yet. I think, I feel like I might want to add a, a couple more floor lights. This looks so cool. Sorry, guys. I'm just sitting here admiring the way this looks. I'm like, wow, there's a lot to see. It's so cool. I mean... Just look at it. Like, you can't get bored with just sitting here and just, like, you could stare at all these other things, you know? And then, and then all of a sudden, boom, you have a, a shooting star. Wish on, wish upon a star. And then all of a sudden, you're like, okay, cool. I have a small little break in between. You could just look at some, uh, an astronaut or, you know, a satellite. Alien. Flying saucer. Just look at the little star jewel rocking on that crescent moon. It's nice. I like this. And with the music too. I think I think the music pulls it, pulls it all together. What do you guys think? You guys like uh, Meteor Shower Area 1.0? The previous one? Or 2.0? The new one. The one that you see now. Let me know in the comment section below. Oh, also, how can I forget? We hit 10,000 subscribers! Yes! Oh, man. You guys don't know how excited this makes me. I am so thrilled. I remember when I hit 
10,000 subscribers on my old channel. I was like, oh, that's cool. And I just didn't feel like I earned it. It was just one of those things that I just had one video. And this time around, I'm putting so much more effort into my channel that it actually means something. And I really appreciate that you guys are here and you guys have subscribed to me. And if you haven't, please subscribe. It's for free. Come on. You have nothing to lose. But that's it for this episode, guys. Be sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.